Yo, what's going on? Tori Danport here, and today we're going to install Eve NG Pro on Ubuntu 15.04 server. And the purpose really of this video is to show all the steps to install Ubuntu 18.04 from ISO format, meaning uh, we're going to actually install a clean installation of Ubuntu, and then we're going to build on top of that Eve NG Pro. And so the purpose of this methodology really is to show that it can be done manually from scratch, essentially using a couple of scripts. And it is a more stable, at least a, I shouldn't say more stable, but it is a very stable way of installing Evenging Pro. Now I've not tested this with the community version, but I know that this will work for Evenging Pro, is how I run my current bare metal server with UNG Pro. That's how I've helped many others set it up and that has given me the chance to actually document my steps here. So we're really just installing uh, Ubuntu right now. So be sure to kind of scrub through this and make sure you don't miss any um, steps or or checkboxes. Uh, one thing to note is you must install the OpenSSH server during uh, you know your Ubuntu installation and also it's probably better to put a static IP on it um, but since you know I'm just doing this in a lab format I, I didn't I didn't actually do that here all right everything is done so we're gonna go ahead and reboot this and so note you can see I am working on a VM but the reason for that is just for test purposes this works on both a VM and an actual you know bare metal installation so we're gonna go ahead and sudo into the root account and then we're going to change the password for the root account and we're also going to do an update and an upgrade uh, so we make sure everything is up to date uh, we're going to again change that password for the root account and we're also going to um, you know enable some some parameters in the ssh config file so we're going to go ahead and turn on the ability to log in as root and to use a, a, a password to log in, which is actually disabled by default. Before we actually go ahead and do any of that, it looks like we're going to go ahead and download the script that we're going to run. And this script is going to Pretty much automate the installation of EVNG Pro. It's uh, given to you right from EVNG.net, so you can just go ahead and um, issue the wget command and pull down a copy of that script. And basically, with your clean Ubuntu 18.04 server, you should be able to just run that script. Note the .sh; it is actually a, a, a you know a bash uh, script. So we're going to have to go ahead and give it permissions, and then we'll execute it. You can see here it is going to take about a half an hour to install. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let this install. I've got this sped up 20x to uh, save your time, but um, we'll go ahead and come back here when it's complete. All right, so we're just about done. You can see 95% are there in the bottom left corner, quickly approaching 100%. And now we're going to uh, let it run through all of the steps it needs to run through, which is unpacking, installing, configuring, and eventually it will come to uh, you know a complete prompt there. It'll be there we are. So we even did a quick sudo apt upgrade and apt apt update and apt upgrade. Um, and that was all good. And so now we're going to go ahead and do an install evng dockers. And 
this is for the pro version. It'll allow, you know, it'll pull down all the dockers it needs, um, since that is a feature that, you know, they're gonna enabled in event. So we'll go ahead and let this run. Looks like we're done now. Wish a reboot, and you did see very quickly there the EVENG splash as it came up. You can see here that where it says at the top, use HTTPS, it should show the box's IP address there. Alright, and now we're at the EVENG setup wizard. And because we're not logged in as a root account user, uh, this is actually going to fail. So we'll go ahead and enter the root password. You can see it failed. Uh, that's actually because we need to exit out of this installer. If this happens to you, please exit out of the installer with the control C, break out of the CLI program, and then with a sudo su, log in as root, make sure you change the password, uh, and then go ahead and use that new password. Uh, you might need to reboot it for that wizard to come back, log directly in as root. Uh, when that wizard comes back as a root user, then you can uh, proceed. So here we're just changing the password. And we're going to head to the SSH config here. <coughs> this is what I mentioned earlier where we're going to enable logging in through, which you can see is already enabled, it's not commented. Right, so we uncomment it if we don't want, or if we do want the setting to be active. So we're going to also turn on password authentication that allows us to log in as root using the root password. And we're going to go ahead and just do a, a you know a restart on the service, and then we should be in good shape to SSH to this, uh, or also to uh, you know, SSH and log in as root, but also uh, you know to just run all the, the future following steps as root. Uh, actually, everything you want to do during this installation, you want to do it as root. root user. So first thing you need to do when you log in is, again, change the password and edit those SSH configs that we just looked at. After that, you want to research service. Uh, in this case, my IP wasn't there, um, and I did select DHCP, so I'm just going to reboot it. You can see there I rebooted. You saw that Eve splash this time, clear as day. That's a really good sign, right, that you're moving in the right direction. Uh, so we're actually almost done. Uh, and basically because of that Eve uh, splash, I know everything is pretty much installed correctly, or at least Eve NG is. You know, still we're, we're, we're not seeing that where it says use HTTPS, we're still not seeing above that there is an IP on this. Uh, so we need to resolve that before we'll, we'll be able to browse to the to GUI. So if we, now we, that we logged in directly as root though, we should be able to complete this setup wizard, which will complete our installation and allow us to put our IP on there. Let's take a look at that. We need some of the default settings here, DHCP server for this example. Go ahead and just let it configure. That's the final step here. One more reboot. So remember, if you get that wizard and, and you're not logged in as a root user, break out of that wizard. Uh, you know, and make sure that you log in as a root user. And if you need to reload it and log in as root to get that wizard to pop back up, it automatically pops up. So. I don't have a command right now that'll that'll bring it up. I don't know how to exactly. I'm sure there's a way, but I haven't got that far. All right now you can see I have 10, 10, 100, 6, 1 as an IP. And so that's a good sign. Now we're now we're in the right direction. So we're gonna log in as root. Um, and we're just gonna see if we can ping test and test our gateway. So we can see here IP address for peanut zero. This was our IP. We can see the NAT zero, the Docker. These are the different uh, Enhancements that even G gives you uh, docker support right as its own subnet for docker NAT and everything else Well, this has been successful. So in future videos, we'll show you more of the even G GUI But I really just wanted to walk through uh, Setting this up with you, you know and showing all the steps to install from scratch if you have any issues with the ISO file 
or if you just prefer to install this way. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Let's talk about tech. Let's talk about tech.